Welcome back, you guys. Today, we're going to be doing our Shop My Stash for the month of August. I did not do one for the month of July because we traveled so much and I rarely was home. So um, really, I lived out of my makeup bag, but I did film that. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll have it linked here in an iCard somewhere around here, or I'll also have it at the end of this video. My plan is to grab a little bit of old and new, so that way you guys can get a nice mix of things that I play with. I do plan to film with these products also, but yeah, let's just get diving right into it and let's pick out some makeup. So here is just what I'm going to be taking over from June Shop My Stash that I still need to finish up on. I've got my Milani here, which is the translucent light to medium. This here I have not really played with, so I really wanted to give it a fair shot. These are the mascaras that I'm going to be playing around with. I have the Marc Jacobs, the Urban Decay, the Roller Lash, the So Fierce by Revlon, and the Il Maquillage. These are already open, so I really want to try to get as much use out of them as I can. For brow pencil, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. You you guys know how much I love this brow pencil. I do have one shadow stick which is the Terry Ombre Black Star which looks like this. I used it a few times as a base for my eyeshadows. Really loved the formula and loved how my eyeshadows popped on top of this. It's gonna be, and then I'm also gonna be holding on to these which are the So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliners by Revlon. So these two carry a lot of the newer makeup that I just recently unhauled in my PR haul unboxing. So I'm gonna go ahead and play and pull out some stuff in here. Some of the stuff that I have is the CoverGirl stuff, which I definitely want to test out this one right here. This is the new CoverGirl True Blend. This is the highlighter in Pearl Crush. So that's the one I'm gonna pull out. Going to definitely pull out one of these concealers. Besides like a first impression, I definitely want to play around with it a little bit. Probably this shade right here, which is Golden Ember which still looks a little bit dark for me, but we'll try it out and see. All right, so a lot of these are lippies. I did want to pull out this one for sure. This is the this is the Buxom Boy Babe. I'm going to pull out this one. This is in the shade Jose. I just love this color, so I definitely want to play around with that. I got a lot of questions about these, so I'm going to pull out a few of these. So I'm going to pull out this one. Let's do like a coral red and this coral red shade. So I'm going to pull out these three shades. So we'll work there. So now let's move into... The first drawer. We're going to start off with primers because the first two drawers are just lashes and mascara and I already have mascara. But which ones do we want to use? I feel like I never play around with this. I feel like it might be a little too much for me, but let's try it. But I also need like a pore filler. I use this one way too much. I'm like immediately reaching for it. Um, let's try this one. This one I feel like I haven't either this one or this one. Maybe I'll do both. The Catrice and then the Joa one. Yeah, I think I'll do those. We're going to now move into concealers. Oh man, you guys. Concealers are so hard just because I have like my favorites. And then every time I don't like a concealer, I go right back to it. But I have Chantilly in here that I hardly ever use because it's way too light for me. So I think I'm going to go with this one. This is light number one. And because this one's too light for me and I'm worried that the other one's too yellow, I might be able to counteract that. And we'll just do that, those two right now. Color correctors, or what's in here? Some shadow bases, bronzers. I think I'm gonna use the eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. It's been a really long time since I've used like an eyeshadow primer, aside from just concealer, but I think I'm gonna use it. Okay, so now let's do foundations. I'm actually super excited about this because I feel so relieved. I actually just did a foundation declutter. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'll have it in an iCard above. So for the past couple of days, well, I should say at least a week or so, I've been using the Stay Naked by Urban Decay. I have been testing it out. I've been playing with it. So that way in a monthly, like for like in a monthly video, I can give you guys my full rundown of this. I really want to use the NARS one. Even though it's like a little dark for me, I still really want to use it. So I think I'm going to do NARS. This one here is in Aruba. But just in case it's too dark, let me take something lighter that I know is too light. L'Oreal Infallible, because right now this is way too light for me. So I'm hoping that these two combined, I can kind of get a good match. They are kind of radiant, so I'm a little nervous about that. We'll make it work. Let's tackle that big one right there. Those are my eyeshadow palettes. So these are more of like my random palettes, like the ones that I don't have a collection of, or they're just kind of like palettes that we've gotten like in a boxy charm or you know you know what I mean right just like little random palettes here and there that I really don't know where to put them 
Let's see. We've got some studio palettes back here, which are just neutral palettes. We got this Ace Butte one that we got in a boxy charm. Really pretty. These have some really great pigment to them. One. We've got the Laura Lee Party Animal. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one. I think I'm going to give this one a shot. I feel like I haven't really played with it a whole lot, but it's got a really neutral, like, color scheme. Like, you've got day, dusk, date, and disco eye. This is the instant eye palette. Let's get some use out of that one. Oh man, the Lorac Gold. You guys, I loved this palette. Formula. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to play with that one. I have like a tutorial or two that I vividly remember doing because I loved it so much. Um, okay, so we've got two palettes from there. Let's move into the second drawer. All right, so this is my second drawer. Um, and here again, you've got like some, I've got NARS over here. Um, Inglot. I play with my NARS quite a bit. I have Jouer. I play with it quite a bit. What's this one? This is the Carity one. This is the Rosé all day. Sorry if you can hear my little my little one. He's in the background playing. They start school tomorrow, so you can tell probably who's excited. I think I'm going to go with this one. Actually, don't play with it quite often. Let's do that one. So we're done there. If you guys want to see a full like collection of my palettes, I'm just going through these really quickly, but I do have a eyeshadow palette collection that I'll um, link for you guys if you guys want to see like a full detailed one. Um, but this is like my Too Faced, Urban Decay, and Anastasia. So I just had Anastasia. Um, this is the Dose of Colors by Desi, the Frankation. I think I'm gonna play with the De Dose of Colors one. Heck yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now that I look at it, yeah, let's do those. Okay, I'm actually moving into my drugstore ones um, because I'm thinking I wanna pull out the Pac-Man one. I didn't play with it as much, so I think I'm gonna pull out the Pac-Man one and give it a shot again. So these are the palettes I'm taking, a lot more than what I normally use um, for my Shop My Stashes, but I wanted to give myself some variety. So I've got the Carity one, I've got the Frankation by Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie, Pac-Man for color, Charlotte Tilbury, because I don't remember what I thought about it, and then the Lorac Gold as like a throwback one, which I think I'm gonna add this into my throwback tutorial. Maybe I'll do that one. I don't know, if you guys see another palette that you guys would like me to use in my throwback, uh, makeup tutorials, let me know. But those are what I'm going to use for right now for my shop, my stash. Lip glosses. Oh, can't have a day without a lip gloss. I need a lip gloss no matter what. I dive back here because I've got some pinks back here that I really don't play with a whole lot. Okay, so these are the pinks and kind of like the coral ones that I have. I think my plan is to pull out this one for sure. I like this one. This is pinky. Um, but then I'm going to pull out, I think I'm going to do this one, the Too Faced Pretty Polite Lip Gloss. Uh, this is the Erica Jane one. I think I'm going to do this one, this Melted Metallic one um, by Too Faced. Um, this is kind of neutral, and I have one of those matte lips, uh, lip liners. I think this would do really well with it. These are all my nudes. I go through those quite often. All right, brow time. I do have the brow pencil by CoverGirl, which I think I'm just going to stick to because I do like it. But today I used a brow powder. And I think I'm gonna stick with the brow powder for like my off days. I used this one, which is by Mellow Cosmetics. I've talked about this one before. This one's in chocolate. And I used this as my brow, just my brow, uh, just for my brows today. And I loved the look. It looks so much more natural and just really effortless. So I think I'm gonna grab this one again. And then let's move into blushes. I love me a good blush. I feel like I go through these single ones quite often, so. Maybe the Wet n Wild. I haven't used the Wet n Wild since I filmed with it, so I'll probably take that one. There's another one that I just got that I really wanted to play with. I think it was a single. Maybe it's in the next one. The next one's like my half blush, half highlighter. I think it was the Top Shop one. Okay, the struggle to film this video with this uh, vlogging camera is for real. It keeps like overheating. But as I was saying, this is the blush from Top Shop that I absolutely adore this one here is in the shade game changer yeah definitely gonna play around with that one so maybe i'll do the butter highlighter from physician's formula i haven't played with that one in a while i do remember liking it too looks like that it works really well and i think it look really good right now since i have a tan it might work really really well so we'll do that one. This one's from Sugar. I think we got this one in like an Ipsy bag. So here's the butter highlighter from Physicians Formula. Let's put it on top. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you see that? Yes, the glow on that. Done. All right, you guys, so here is everything that I picked out for this month. 
I feel like this is the first month where I have given myself way more variety and way more options to play around with products. With the last couple of months, I've been doing kind of like one or two of each thing and I got bored like really quickly or I just like ran to something else. So I'm hoping by giving myself more variety, I can test out more products. It's all nicely organized right now, but I tell you by tomorrow, it'll be a hot mess. Also, I forgot to mention, in the back I also did add, which I never pulled out, but this is the Cheerleader palette from Benefit, which has got bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I'm just going to hold on to this as my bronzer shades and use that for now. So that is everything for my Shop My Stash. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys saw anything that you guys would like me to use for sure in my um, Shop My Stash tutorial, you guys let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also to the right, there's going to be a few other videos that you guys can check out if you guys haven't caught up to date with my videos. I do upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So I will see you guys then. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.